Hi friends, today I am back with a project life process video. This is part two of a video that I posted last week. Um, so this is kind of my second set of photos and journaling for the week of May 7th through the 13th, which was the week of Mother's Day. Um, and I will go ahead and post a link to the video that I put up last week. So if you haven't seen it and you're interested, um, you can find it there. So I'm going to start off this page by working on that photo of my husband holding our daughter. Um, we were in a local bakery that we frequent um, because they have really good milk boba tea and delicious pastries. And I stamped out that around town sentiment. It's from an old Kelly Perky stamp set. Um, I stamped that using some black archival ink onto white cardstock, just regular white cardstock. And I adhered that down to the bottom of the photo and added a couple of staples. Now I'm going to work on that top left hand corner photo. Um, that was a photo that we took on Mother's Day of me with my mom, sister, and Felicity. I wanted to stamp directly on the photo so I'm using some white brilliance ink. But what I've noticed is with using the selfie printer paper, um, which is how I printed out all of these photos, it's a little bit more glossy than what I'm used to. I usually use the Kirkland um, the Costco glossy photo paper. Um, so the selfie printer paper is a little bit more glossy and when I'm stamping um, it's really easy for the stamp to kind of slip. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful about that. I wasn't really thinking about that when I stamped that sentiment and it got a little bit, I don't know, it kind of slid. But the effect was actually kind of interesting, so I decided to go ahead and leave it um, instead of covering it up. So I will insert a picture a little close up at the end of this video so you can see, but it was kind of one of those happy accidents um, that I actually liked the way that it looked, so I didn't have to cover that up. But just something to kind of consider if you do end up using the um, Canon selfie printer paper. But if you know of any tips or techniques when um, stamping on that kind of photo paper, please let me know because I find that's a bit of an issue um, with stamping, especially those sort of long like sentiments or any small stamps. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult to get it to um, kind of stay in one place when you're stamping. So anyways, that was kind of a huge digression from um, this layout, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on. So um, the photo that I'm working on here, this is a photo of a kind of a bowling date that I had with my husband. And um, I decided to have four photos in one four by six uh, photo pocket. So I went ahead and I laid this out using the PicFrame app, which if you're not familiar, um, PicFrame works really well if you're printing off of a Canon selfie printer, but you can also use it if you're um, posting things to Instagram or if you just kind of want to lay things out and see how it's going to look um, like in a four by six photo or something like that. So it allows you to do two, four, six, I think up to eight photos um, and just kind of lay them out in different templates. So I will link that below. It's a free app that you can check out. Um, so I took those four photos and I just stamped brunch date on a label and I adhered it to kind of an area that wasn't going to cover up any um, sort of important parts of those photos. And now I'm working on this photo of my daughter during tummy time. I went ahead and I stamped a circular stamp um, just right off of the photo there. And then I took that My Girl stamp and I kind of bent it so that it would follow the curve of that circle. Um, that's kind of a great thing about acrylic stamps is that you can kind of modify them just a little bit to kind of um, bend in a direction that you want. So if you're trying to curve that stamp around something, um, don't be afraid to kind of bend it. It'll just go ahead and bend back and it doesn't ruin the stamp or anything. But um, yeah, kind of a fun technique to play around with. And now for this journaling card, I knew that I only wanted to use that bottom section for writing out my journaling for this week, but I had those four different quadrants there. So I decided to play around with some stamping and I grabbed a, a few of my Kelly Perky stamp sets and stamped home, all are welcome, a couple of circles, and I used those Felicity Jane um, puffy stars right there. And then I'm just going to draw in my journaling lines and write a few words about this week. 
So overall, this was just a very simple layout, um, just a little bit of stamping, filling out the journaling cards, trying not to over assess anything or any one component. And um, yeah, I think all of my layouts are kind of gravitating towards a more simple look um, since just in general, I have less time to spend working on projects. And when I do, I kind of want to get a lot of things documented at once. So obviously the photos and the journaling are the most important pieces of any layout and just getting those stories told is kind of my number one um, goal for working on these pages. So yeah, but hopefully you still enjoy watching these process videos. Um, I'm just finishing up this one journaling card. It did a little bit of stamping. I tried stamping my girl in white ink there, but it didn't really show up. So I went ahead and covered it up with an embellishment and called it done. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video.